We're going to talk about my four fundamentals of being able to be the second best butter in the world. Fundamental number one is the fact that the blade needs to be square to the target at both the address and strike position. So many people tend to address the ball with the blade open and expect to hit it on line. I'm sorry, but those guys do not put well under pressure. Just make a good strike now, Phil, and go through that putt, like so. The second fundamental is the importance of keeping the blade square through the path of the stroke through the hitting area. In other words, if he keeps that blade square through to line number two, he will achieve that strike on the ball with no side spin. The third fundamental is the importance of striking that ball with a slight upstroke. But I do not mean an upstroke like this. I mean an upstroke like this. Now then, if you visualise rolling a rubber tyre across the yard, how would you strike that tyre? Like so. This is what we want you to appreciate, that if you strike that ball, with that slight upstroke, you will generate that forward roll on the ball. But it also brings in the importance of the ball position. That ball position needs to be two inches ahead of your sternum so that you're hitting that ball slightly on the upstroke without having any need to be a contortionist. As you can see here, hands slightly forward, then he's got to generate that perfect strike on the ball. So as you can see, the ideal stroke, the hand, the back of the left hand always leads the putt ahead through the hit. Whereas the poor strike, you can see the flick of the wrists and that spells danger. Number four, the fact that every putt is a straight putt. One needs to learn to strike that ball with that smooth acceleration so that you can control the speed of your ball so that it takes the break that you've read in the putt. A common mistake is for amateurs to hit that ball with that short backswing and that hurried hit. Or that long backstroke and that deceleration. That's all it takes.